that's some good news a little bit for those of you that want burgers i've missed mcdonald's i'm not gonna lie during lockdown i really miss being able to order cheeky delivery uh, d- delivery eats oof to get mate and uber eats i've missed that ability to do that um but they're gonna reopen i think a few restaurants at a time there's none near me that are opening today or tomorrow not happening but it's all going to be delivery which is you know i guess no one's complaining it's interesting isn't it everyone that's complaining about work is going back to work while well, that's you know post the pictures of people on the, on the train uh commuting in the morning they don't necessarily have any i don't know they don't have any reservations about uber eats offering the ability for you to get stuff delivered to your door no one cares about that shit anymore you know what i mean they just want the convenience of getting their stuff back or they or people just want the ability to go back out again and order their mcdonald's themselves again that might be something nice as well isn't it that's a nice thing to have instead of you know sitting at home and ordering that shit oh, that, i actually like picking it up that would be quite cool so you get the you get the chance to go for a walk and you don't have to kind of have a guy put the thing in his bag and you know make the journey across and get himself involved in the accident you feel super bad about it so maybe that's something i don't know let's move on what's i see on the thing that i thought was of interest if there was something else i liked what was it do, do, do. let's go okay that's not there go back over here there oh there was a, a picture here or some image or some video of a zara i'm not sure where this is it's in an airport somewhere that's reopened why you'd want to go to a zara <laughs> Why that be your first port of call is beyond me, but this is a, a tweet that someone uploaded. It says, the airport is closed, locking all domestic workers in countrywide prison, but Zara Fashion Store is open. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is the Zara in the airport, um, maybe because some they're operating a limited service um, in terms of flights that they're able to open the store. I'm not too sure. That's actually news to me. I'm not sure. Where does this person live? Let's hover over their profile. They haven't put in there. No address. But it, um, interesting, isn't it? But imagine this being the first place you go. Because I don't... Are you in a mood to shop right now? I, I know. I'm, yeah. This is something I want to do. Yeah, it's a cute. Mostly girls inside the Zara's. Way in. And also, what happens to the stock? They must have loads of shit from the summer. And now I'm assuming they're kind of, you know, phasing some bits out. Maybe they've got their own winter notebooks out and stuff and, you know, the bigger jackets are coming in. What do they do with the stock if you're Zara? Do you just burn that stuff? Or do you put them in, do you just distribute them around the stores and mark them down and hope people buy them? I'd hope, obviously, probably the latter, I'd assume, innit? But there's going to be a lot of surplus stock in it. And Zara stuff, I'm assuming, doesn't necessarily last the longest. I've, I've only bought a couple of things from there over the years. But I would imagine stuff that you want to wear day in, day out doesn't last that long um, in Zara. So, bloody hell, man. Like I said, the last thing I want to do after this lockdown is go to a shop. It's like, it's like going to Primark is your first port of call. That is insane. That's some whack job shit to go to Primark. Imagine straight after everything is finished. But again, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I feel bad saying it because it's judgmental because some people just need a release, isn't it? Being indoors all the time isn't normal. That's not what we should be doing. So, if, you know, in the same way people are getting annoyed by people that go to, what's it, Victoria Park and Columbia Road Flower Market, people need a release. They need to feel like, you know, life is worth living, <laughs> right? So having just a bit, just to walk down that Columbia Road Flower Market, even though there's no flowers, right, just to kind of walk down and see someone cute, smile, you know, listen to your music, whatever it may be. That might be enough to keep you going a couple more weeks. So maybe if a girl or a guy wants to go to Zara and buy themselves some skinny jeans with some zips on their knee pads, and fair enough, in it, let them do it. But me going to a shop, the first poor call after everything gets locked out. Nah. One the one thing I want to do is go to a basement bar somewhere and order a whiskey, right, and listen to a jukebox or some shit, or talk to the bartender and ask them how they've you know how they've experienced has been you know or read a book somewhere next to a candlelit table with the whiskey again right like that's what i'd like to do or go to a restaurant um that's probably a nice thing to do right after lockdown's ended but go to a shop to buy some clothes now if anything this lockdown has told me i've got too many clothes that i don't necessarily wear i need to get rid of stuff as opposed to buy stuff or maybe buy more quality things get some staples in my wardrobe right 
um, you know, a staple trench coat, a staple uh, leather jacket, a couple of staple denims, a uh, staple denim, ja- denim jacket for the most part, shirts, suits, whatever. Those things I need more as opposed to going to Zara and buying some trendy seasonal clothes that are going to be out of fashion within, what, a minute. And again, who are Zara jacking their designs off of? All this time, there's been no fashion weeks, right? Fashion week has been has been done for a while. Where is Zara going to get their inspiration from? Anyways.